If you are a Windows user and want to experience the features and functionalities of macOS Ventura, you can install it on your Windows PC using a virtual machine. VirtualBox is a popular virtualization software that allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single host machine. In this guide, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing macOS Ventura on Windows 11 using VirtualBox. Before starting the process, please ensure that your system meets the following requirements. A Windows 11 PC or laptop with a 64-bit processor, 4GB or more RAM, and at least 20 gigabytes of free storage space. A stable and fast internet connection. A macOS Ventura ISO file that you can download from the internet. Once you have these requirements, follow the steps below. Step 1. Download and install VirtualBox. You can download the latest version of VirtualBox from the official website. Once downloaded, Run the setup file and follow the on-screen instructions to install VirtualBox on your Windows 11 PC. Step 2. Create a new virtual machine. Launch VirtualBox and click on the New button in the toolbar. In the Name field, enter a name for your virtual machine, example, macOS Ventura. Set the type to Mac OS X and the version to Mac OS X, 64-bit. Click on Next. Step 3. Allocate Memory. In the Memory Size field, allocate at least 4 GB of RAM to the virtual machine. Click on Next. Step 4. Create a Virtual Hard Disk. Select the Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now option and click on Create. Choose VDI as the file type and click on Next. Select Dynamically Allocated as the Storage on Physical Hard Disk option and click on Next. Allocate at least 20 GB of storage space to the virtual hard disk and click on Create. Step 5. Configure the virtual machine settings. Select the macOS Ventura virtual machine from the list and click on Settings. Under the System tab, uncheck the floppy option, set the chipset to ICH9, and enable the Enable EFI, Special OSes Only, option. Under the Display tab, Increase the video memory to 128 megabytes and enable the Enable 3D Acceleration option. Under the Storage tab, click on the Add button and select Choose Existing Disk. Browse and select the macOS Ventura ISO file that you downloaded earlier. Click on OK to save the settings. Step 6. Install macOS Ventura. Click on the Start button to launch the virtual machine. It will boot from the macOS Ventura ISO file that you selected in the previous step. Follow the on-screen instructions to install macOS Ventura on the virtual machine. Step 7. Configure macOS Ventura. Once the installation is complete, macOS Ventura will boot up. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up macOS Ventura on the virtual machine. That's it. You have successfully installed macOS Ventura on Windows 11 using VirtualBox. You can now use macOS Ventura on your Windows PC for testing, development, or any other purposes.